This video is uh, I'm doing is set up to explain how I took out the rotational slop out of the quill on this Rong Fu clone mill. I call it the Green Monster. Yesterday I'm, I took a piece of half inch drill rod and milled a tang on the end of it that just fits inside of this slot here so there's no rotational slop that way. So then we carefully insert it into the hole, get all the planets to line up, take our precision instrument pliers and beat it in there. Okay, now I made it flush with the casting. So then I take this little quarter inch bolt and screw it into the... You'll notice that the, the threads are partially cut into the uh, tools into this uh, drill rod and then mostly cut into the head because the head was softer. So then we start our little bolt in here. Excuse the poor lighting in my hand in the road. And we tighten our tighten our little bolt down here. All this is in preparation. I'm going to put a DRO on this machine. And they're from the videos I've watched and stuff, they seem to be pretty sensitive on uh the any any outside movement they're just designed to move designed to see movement along the axis of the the DRO reader to the to the encoder I guess what you call it anyway so you tighten this little bolt down here just just kind of snug that what that does is that takes out the slop that's in this hole I don't have a half inch reamer okay now there's no I can't turn this at all, and yet it still moves up and down nicely in the in the bore. So, uh, big shout out to Steve's DIY. Uh, I've been he made I commented on his video and he responded right back. So hopefully this will fix his machine later.